That's what I call the money makers right here. You know I'm making money today. Alrighty guys, we're back here today. Uh, we've got a customer, this is a 107, and we're gonna be installing the Moonshine 45 camshaft. We're doing a throttle body, manifold, SNS push rods, SNS cuffs, and I wanna say we're doing a plate and pump from SNS as well. The holy cam right here. We're gonna be replacing these with the SNS um, aluminum cups from them. We don't really see a whole lot of issues with these, but when you go higher, a higher lift cam, um, obviously you cannot use these. We're gonna replace these with SNS lifter cups right here. You don't have to do them on the MHP45, but it's a really good upgrade, peace of mind. So now we can go ahead and disassemble the cam chest area. And as you can see right here, this is an earlier generation um, backing into the oil pump. There is no seal. This is a major issue with the, um, with the sumping issues. So on the back of the SNS, we're gonna have an oil seal. And make this one cavity here. This is what we're gonna go together with. SNS plate pump, Moonshine 45 cam. Uh, we've got new seals here. So again, the seal, very important from his old one. Did not have one. This is gonna help with the sumping issue. Would not recommend going back with that. You can use stock plate and pump, but you just gotta use the latest uh, reversion or rendition date. Uh, it has a seal on the back. That's what you want if you're running OEM plate and pump. The new ones, there's nothing wrong with them. They're really good. What's cool about these, they've got some magnets on them. So if anything happens, there's magnets and uh, it's going to help catch some of the debris. A lot of people will ask, is, is a clutch Clutch, this is an impact. Impact, clutch. Bigger impact, clutch. So this is set to the lowest setting. It's probably like 10 or 20 inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds. So it's literally just setting them in. A lot of guys uh, freak out when they see us using this, but uh, whatever. This we're not gonna be reusing, so we're gonna add that pile of stuff we are not using. We will use the top sprocket. We are gonna grab our new sprocket. So I'll show you the difference here. OEM stock, see that play? We're gonna try to eliminate that play. This is more of a press fit. We're gonna have to draw it on and it might not right now, but there's gonna be no back and forth play, which is a good thing. You can use stock, but if you're here, you want something better, this is better. Okay, so now we got everything torqued, our spacing's right, we know all the oil pump, cam bearing, all that's good. So the last step inside of here is to go to our tensioner. So I think earlier when I looked, this bike had about 7,000 miles on it, and look at that shoe. I mean, very, 
visual. Bar I can barely catch out with my nail. So that is more than acceptable. Well, that's pretty much it for the inside of the cam chest. That's how we do it. Just installed a Moonshine 45 in this customer's 107 Rogue Glide 2019. Went in with the SNS plate pump, removing the OEM plate and pump here. There's no, this is the older oil pump here. There's no uh, seal O ring. Getting rid of that, getting rid of the stock cam, going 485 with all the good stuff, 64 throttle body, um, manifold, and that's a nasty 107. So. This thing is going to be able to keep up with the boys.